This project, uh, Encounters with Public Art, is a partnership between Minova, Capilano University and City Studio. Minova worked with students from three sections of the Caring and Learning in Earlier Settings classes at Capilano University. And through the classes, the students visited public arts within North Vancouver or within their own communities, as some were international students located elsewhere during uh, the pandemic. There were many uh, interesting invitations in this course for the students to think about place as a context, as a locality, as an environment. Uh, at the same time, when we're talking about place, we need uh, to think about the past and ongoing histories that are tied to colonization. Public uh, art invited this conversation uh, either because the art piece evo may have evoked the legacy of, of colonization or the conversation was about where this art piece sits. The students in our classes were from different backgrounds, indigenous, settlers, international students. And uh, as they were doing this inquiry, they questioned what does it mean to live well together on a colonized land. In my opinion, the source of many operations and uh, inequalities is the uh, egocentricity and arrogance of individuals. This means that individuals consider the group, society, beliefs, skin color, appearance, country or religion superior to others and uh, that becomes grounds uh, for discrimination. Although people can have different values and personalities, they have the right to live in peaceful world. They went to this art piece many times. They visited many times. The assignment was structured that way. And they were invited to think about the art piece or to encounter the art piece, not in isolation, in connection to self, but in connection to the passerbys in connection to the place where it stands. In many ways, I think we try to evoke what uh, we propose to them when educating young children. Um, to think with your whole body, to think with your senses, to listen closely, to perceive, to be open, um, to experience the world in different ways. So sort of to open the doors of perception What surprised me was the immense gratitude that students uh, developed throughout the term for the art piece that they have engaged with. They shared that they would walk past by the art piece and, and even not notice it. And uh, at the end of the term, their relationship with their uh, art piece, the place they live, you know, the coastalish land overall, um, it, it, it became a different kind of relationship and a much more developed, uh, a deeper relationship. I would hope that the exhibit would either invite or deepen a conversation about our coexistence in place and how we are 
connected in many forms to the histories of this place and and hopefully too and, and I think mo most importantly to uh, recognize the missed or neglected uh, histories of, of people of place, right? Of the indigenous stories, traditions, ways of being in this land and, um, and uh, join the conversation about the legacy of colonization and become a participant uh, in disrupting this legacy.